Welcome back to Let's Play A Boy and His Blob. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in the boss level of the cave's world. Things aren't uh, ideal right now, but we did make it past that little stream of uh, stalagmites, so I feel good about that. Shout out to Yornik, who left a comment saying, Fun fact, both words separately in quotes. Blobbert and Hugh Man are actually members of the same foodie community and get together every two to three weeks to taste some amazing dishes from around the world. Often they're joined by fellow gourmets, Tommy the Xenomorph, Marlo Briggs, and Piku. <laughs> Those are some deep cuts. Uh, okay, those are, in order, references to Carrion, where I referred to the, uh, the monster protagonist as Q-Man when it was imitating a human. Uh, <laughs> alien Isolation, where I nicknamed the, uh, the alien Tommy to make it slightly less threatening. Uh, Marlowe Briggs and the Mask of Death, which is a very fun game. Kind of janky, but very fun, which I can best describe as, uh, well, let's be honest, it's a budget kind of knockoff of uh, the classic God of War game, so fixed cameras and flashy uh, combos. And of course, Piku was the protagonist of Piku Niku. I uh, believe... I believe it turned out right at the end of that series that it was actually uh, Piku Niku. Hmm. What the hell am I meant to do there? Shit, you guys. I don't think this will work. You know, they don't fall. Oh my god, it worked! I totally improvised that! That's awesome! Did it start? I genuinely didn't think that would work, to be perfectly honest. I was putting it there to see, well, maybe I can make him slam into the ceiling. And I thought, huh, maybe I could just go over him. Ooh. Oh, there is treasure there. all the treasure. Calm down. Oops. He's pretty calm. <laughs> oh, I hate that. That was all of them. Yes, yes, good. So how are the kids? What does my lozenge wrapper say? March forward. Let's see, we're boldly going into the unknown. Those are some big stalactites and stalagmites in the background. Kind of grow together. Okay. Okay, the beast is here. Please go away. Oh no! What is a bubble, hole, and balloon? My organs. I can't do anything other than that. 
I'm up here now. Deal with it. Will that kill me? No. Oh, shit! Well, uh... The boy. Cock and balls. This didn't work. Fucking... What did you want me to do? Running and we're running. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, that makes us invincible. Sup, deal with it. What happens if you claw me like this? I want to know. Do it, do it. I dare you. Nothing. that do? What difference does that make? Wait, do I want him to hit me? Interesting. Crap! I genuinely don't understand what it's asking me to do, since I don't have anything that can hurt him. Well, stop trying to hit me and hit me! There, but it's kind of difficult to aim this stupid thing. Right, I forgot. I can just stop that at any time by hitting Y. Here, first, I guess I need to be him to be way over here. Oh, fuck, it did work. Fuck off! Thank you. Oh no. Right, forgot. So he was right there, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. 
Holy crap, this sucks. Really? The explosion had already happened. Oh, this is difficult. I'm taking off my sweatshirt for this. <laughs> this is actually starting to, uh... Hmm. Rude. I don't much like this fight. The other one felt way cleverer than this. Damn it. hate that. Alright, let's do this. Oh, hey, fuck that. Oh, he's yeah, just got us. There's no way to get back through there. I was supposed to use the hole on this platform so the thing would go through and hit the guy. Come on, big guy! Come on! Ya da 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 There. Like that. Yeah! Wow. I didn't even need all three of them. We beat the beast. For the record. There. That would have been long enough. Hell yeah. Victorious! Caves could not slow me down. Achievement unlocked past the cave. Bonk. I wonder why they are up there. Past the cave. Complete the cave world. Four to 21 achievements. I guess those would be new, huh? I think I just learned that this game only came out on PC in 2016. So there's a good seven years there where it only existed on the Wii. Balloon or... <sighs> oh my god, I didn't think they'd give me this one. It's the Root Beer Rocket! I can't move. Yeah, you don't control this one. In the original game, it took you to Blobonia. 
You did not start the game with root beer uh, jelly beans. Hell yeah! We're going to an alien planet, you guys! <laughs> this is cool! Yeah, there's the red Milky Way, our galaxy's evil twin. Oh god! It's Blobbert's family! Uh, hi, uh, I'm Billy? Um, human from Earth, I have an internal skeleton and organs and such. <laughs> so are you married, or was or are you both uh, the big one's children? Or is this even something completely different from that? I mean, I don't know how your culture works. I mean, you've got a showerhead drooling honey at the top of the screen. Whatever is going on over here? Let's see, you make purple goo. It's a shame I can't hug them. That would be very funny. <laughs> the little one is so adorable. Oh, I can't throw jelly beans here! Rude. I like your place. It's cozy. I like how nothing has sharp edges except the floor. Because of course they wouldn't. They're a completely amorphous people. Straight lines would be anathema to them. It's not in their nature. Everything is round and organic. Oh, hey, big guy. Uh, hi, I've been adventuring with your son back on Earth. Uh, uh, it's a planet kind of far from here. It's uh, blue, green. I don't know if you know that one. Okay, yeah, so I guess the big ones are the parents, and these two are the siblings. I mean, the uh, the offspring. Well, they are each other's siblings, but... Oh, yeah, your uh, child is loads of fun. Saved my life on more than one occasion. <laughs> I like that the planet's shaped like a jelly bean. Oh. They're celebrating because Blobbert is back. What are the lights, though? Why are they shaped like that? So I guess our objective on Earth is to get somewhere high enough that we could blast off with a root beer rocket. As I recall, you could use it anywhere that wasn't underground in the original game, as I discovered through Game Genie cheats. Mind you, Blabonia was much harder than Earth, so I uh, barely made it past the first frickin' screen there. I remember it was full of evil candy for some insane reason. Like, one of the uh, level uh, obstacles was bouncing uh, marshmallows that kind of moved like the little bouncing blob men. Well, let's take a look! Oh wow, all of the life on this planet is gelatinous. Or all the animal life, I should say. So, uh, Blobbert? What the fuck is that? It looks like part of a tentacle. Is that the house we just left? I have so many questions. Oh, no wonder they love jelly beans so much. Everything here looks like candy. Oh, what do we got? We got the rocket. We got the hole. Parachute, balloon, and uh, anvil. What the hell? I don't know why he's asking me to do this. Oh, I'm control this time. Oh, crap! Hey! Achieve and unlock experienced treasure hunter. 
Oh, right, because I missed one in the last world. Yes, it's, each one is a world's worth of treasure chests. Your fireflies are kind of psychedelic, my friend. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Two achievements in one episode. You collect 60 treasure chests. Nice. I need a showing off. You know, I still can't touch those, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, with this exciting development, I'm gonna call it. I'll see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play A Boy and His Blob when we, uh, continue exploring Blobonia and seeing what other wonders Blobbert's world has to show us. Blobbert, if you're trying to suggest something, I'm not going to jump into the spikes. <laughs> Later.